This video is sponsored by me. I wanna start off today's video by thanking all of you guys if you have ever commented on a video, liked a video, and especially if you've ever purchased anything from me. I just wanna thank you guys because it really helps support this channel. It supports not only myself, but my entire team. You guys have honestly changed my life in so many ways and I just wanted to say thank you because I feel like I never get the opportunity to say that to you guys enough. So there's a floating cat. Today I am giving you guys a little tutorial on how to create a soft vintage brown look to your photos in Lightroom and that's because I have new preset packs. It has been, I don't even know how many years, like three years, four years? I think it's been three years since I've launched a new preset pack. So there are two preset packs launching. There's one called the Kodiak pack and one called the vintage pack. Now the Kodiak pack kind of looks good on every photo. I know I always say that, but it's like a classic LP look, but the vintage pack is obviously a little more vintage and that's where you're gonna get this soft brown look we're gonna talk about today. So I'm gonna run through the settings on one particular preset that gives you this soft brown vintage look. I know this is kind of a long intro, but I just wanna mention right off the top that I have an offer. It is my birthday. When you're seeing this, I believe it's Wednesday. And as of today, you can pick up my birthday bundle, which includes these two unreleased preset packs. You also get Slide light, LP, peak design, strap, boom. And exclusively in this bundle, you get the 100 social posts to kickstart your photography business document, which is 100 ideas on social posts. So I've done all the thinking for you. You're welcome. So this bundle is a $111 value for only $65. If you guys wanna check that out, if you're interested in purchasing, the link for this bundle is in the description box below and up here. I'm a huge believer in picking up things like Lightroom presets because not only do they speed up your workflow with one click and a couple of little tweaks, but they're also a really good way to get insight into achieving different looks and effects on your photos that other photographers you admire do on their photos. So if you're interested and having like a look or a style that you've seen me do a ton of, this is a great way to kind of like peep into my editing style and like look at all my little secrets. The preset I am going to give you guys a little look into today is called Jack. All of these presets in the vintage pack, including Jack, are named after my grandparents and then one is named after my mom. So that's Jack, Joyce, Norma, Charlie, and then my mom's name is Jackie. All right, so this photo, what Jack does is it still keeps that color in your photo. So you can still tell, you know, the sky is blue, but it just mutes it a little to give it like that nice age to it. You know what I mean? So this is actually exposed quite well. Like you could go ahead and post this. On this particular preset, I didn't touch the presence section very much. What I like to do is bring the clarity down just cause I think that adds like a really soft dreamy effect to your photo. And then I like to bring up the texture a little bit. Now, normally what I would suggest with this preset is you can go ahead and change the white balance to auto. And now that's gonna actually bring back a lot of the color and saturation into your image. So sometimes you will apply a preset and if it's looking kind of weird, you really get the full effect once you change your white balance to auto. Something else you can do is adjust the exposure slider. Sometimes you'll throw it onto a photo. Let's take this one of Lauren, for example. Actually, this is exposed quite well, but sometimes I just like to bump up that exposure a little bit. Actually, this might be a better example. Yeah, as you can see, this photo is quite dark already. So when I add Jack, you are getting that nice, warm, rich brown tone. So I just bring the exposure up a little bit. And now you can see a lot more in this image. So if we go back to this photo of Lauren, let's just make some little tweaks. Again, I'm gonna bring down the clarity. I'm gonna bring up the texture and the contrast is a little much. So I'm actually gonna bring it down to like plus 10. I might bring the highlights down a touch, but I could essentially post that photo as it is. This is, if not my favorite, it's one of my favorites from the vintage pack because it just gives you such a natural vintage warm brown look. Let's scroll through some of my settings for this preset. I do have a bit of contrast on this. My highlights are at minus 50. It's kind of a trend with vintage and film that the highlights are brought down. They're not blown out. They are quite muted. And so that's really what I was trying to achieve here. 
Same thing, the shadows are boosted, brought the whites down to minus 33, the blacks were at minus two. And a lot of this stuff, again, is gonna depend on your photo. The vibrance is at plus 19, and the saturation is at minus 43. So we have decreased the saturation a bit, and that's where you're still retaining some of that color in the vibrance, but you're desaturating the image overall. Now this is kind of like my go-to tone curve. You'll see this a lot with my presets. The mid-tones are usually where they're supposed to be. The highlights are brought down a little bit. And then I do this nice little flip in my blacks and I bring those up just to make them like a soft, creamy, muted, grayish black, just not a crushed black. So moving on into the HSL color panel, reds are a little more orange. Oranges are a little more red. So we're going for an orange that doesn't look too yellow. The yellows are a little more towards the orange. The greens are a little bit more towards the yellows. The aquas are moved a little bit more towards that rich blue. The blues are a little bit more, you can see that like the aqua and the blue are kind of hitting in the same zone. Purples are basically the same. The magentas are a little bit more red. So if you go into the saturation, reds are at plus 21, orange is zero, yellow minus 27, green minus 63. Everything else is desaturated a bit. That would make sense. I've said it before. It's a soft muted brown luminance. So we've brought up the reds. The orange we've actually put at minus 10. Yellows are at minus 29. Greens minus 17. Aqua and blue, those are in the plus 30s range. Purples plus 14. This section is quite fun, the color grading. Now because if you see at the top, these two sections are kind of heavily linked together. The saturation is brought down. Remember the vibrance is at plus 19. So because we've desaturated the image a bit, we have some room to actually tint those shadows a little bit. So I've tinted them this nice like burnt orangey red. So they're kind of standard sharpening settings. This is just what I like. There is a little bit of grain on this image because it is a vintage preset pack and I like the way that it softens the image. So I do have a little grain, but that's personal preference again. So that is everything behind the scenes of how I created Jack, if not my favorite preset, one of my favorite presets in the vintage pack. And I'll just really quickly show you how it looks on some of these other photo examples here. All right, so now that we've been through everything that Jack offers, I'm gonna show you guys on screen some before and afters of all of the presets available in the Kodiak pack and the vintage pack. To some nice music, maybe some smooth jazz. Thank you guys in advance if you end up picking up the birthday bundle. Again, that'll be linked in the description box below or up here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're not already, hit the notification bell to get notified for every video. I love you guys. I'm turning 30, so what a better way to celebrate it.